So in this video we're going to be introducing ourselves to Venn diagrams and really what I want us to do in this video is really just to get to grips with what they look like and how they relate to uh, different probabilities. So I'm going to work through these six and draw these six as Venn diagrams. So we're going to start off by drawing a Venn diagram where we have two circles overlapping and we label them A and B. Make sure that whenever you've drawn, you draw a Venn diagram uh, that the two circles overlapping, if they are indeed overlapping, are labelled. Okay. We also draw a box around the diagram really to represent um, so we've got somewhere to put the number that can be outside of the two circles. So neither A nor B, for example. So if I'm looking at the probability of A, then we're looking at the whole circle of A. Okay, So that includes that overlap. So the probability of A covers both the bit of A that is by itself and this intersection here. So that's the probability of A. If we're looking at the probability of B, then in a similar way, probability of B would be this section here. OK? Now, if we're going to do the probability of not A, then what we're saying there is anything that is not A. And so it is anything that is outside of the circle A. OK? So anything that is outside of that, including outside of the intersection that we have there. If we're doing not B, then it's a very similar case. So A and B, and it's anything that's outside of the circle B. Almost went in there. OK. So that would be the property of not B. So they're kind of like your basic four to start off with. If we're then going to look at the property of A or B, OK, probability of A or B, then we use another form of notation here. And we refer to this as the probability of A union B. So we use this U shape to represent the union. And as a Venn diagram, what this represents is effectively A or B or both. So it's all of A, including the intersection, and all of B. OK? So A or B or both. Then if we're looking at A and B, so the probability of A and B happening, so the probability of them both happening effectively, we have another notation as well for this. And so instead of the union, we call this the intersection. And we use an upside-down union symbol. So it's like an N, OK? And we refer to that as the intersection. So it's where the circles intersect. So A, B, and the intersection is just that bit there. So that is the intersection of A and B. Now, because we have these two new forms of notation, we can introduce a new bit of uh, like a formula, if you will. Because we can now say that the probability of A union B is equal to, well, we've got all of A there, so the probability of A. We've got all of B there. But the problem with just adding probability of A and probability of B 
is that we've counted this intersection part twice, OK? Because we've got all of A and all of B, but we've got two lots of that intersection. And I don't want two lots of the intersection. I only want one lot. So I've got to subtract one amount of the intersection. So the probability of A union B can be written as the probability of A plus the probability of B take away the probability of the intersection of A and B. Okay? And that is one of the formulas that really we need to remember.